Greetings, dear, precious, magnificent, divine being, spirit soul, that you are at the heart of who you are, your true self. My topic, freeing yourself from limitations and blockages, you see. Freeing yourself from limitations. And what are limitations, limits? They're governors that you put on to uh, stop yourself, to, like a governor on a car, so you could only go X number of mile, miles an hour <clears throat> because it was maybe a company car. We don't want you to go faster than 10 miles an hour. So we put a governor on that. And the governor means I'm going to control you. Govern is to control. That's what it means. And the word government is mind control because ment is mensa. And, and the mind is the mine and it is the mint as a reservoir of unlimited power because you are a reservoir of unlimited power given that who and what you are and who you're connected to that we're all connected to which is the absolute truth don't let anybody tell you there's no absolute because they'll say oh there's no absolute and then they make that statement absolute because they say there isn't mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. You, got, you have to be discerning. You have to really know what you're up to when you do spiritual things because spiritual people can be so easily led astray because we're so naive. We're so trusting. I used to think anybody even mentioned the word God, they're not going to harm or hurt you. They're not going to steal from you. They were some of the biggest stealers I ever found because it's just we were just not realizing that with real eyes that others um, may not be like we are. And there may be an actual they out there. I know in my book, Live Your Bliss, when I was working with the publisher of the book, and I was, I said some, I was talking about they, and then they instructed me, oh, there's no they out there. Well, it's because that's their program, you see. And um, so what people do, that they, they have a program that they're being uh, using to operate their life, to make their choices, to make their decisions. And... Then people say, well, I have all these limitations. Know this. Free will is not freedom. You don't need free will. You see, they, they call this is a free will universe. That means you have choice. Well, yeah, what's the choice? To ignore and be what you're not? There is no choice. You are who you are. Freedom is what you are and who you are, always have been. You're already free. And... And they, what we're using our freedom for is wherever we are focusing and we are giving our energy to, our beliefs to, that we focus on, that we use, that we allow to control and direct ourselves and our, and our experience, our lives. So how we get, what we say, free ourselves from limitation is... Limitations are narratives, they're concepts, they're beliefs, most all of them, and they lead to other things because, say for instance, you have the belief that um, you can never, what would you say, never have enough money, okay, you can never have enough money, that's your belief. So you're giving money then the power of God by saying money is something that you can't have. Well, money is made of papers and coins, as you know, and then they're rented to people. We call Federal Reserve or whatever they do, and then they charge you interest on your little paper and coins. Well, that's okay. That's uh, making something out of nothing, and that's what people do with money and such. But if you make money your identity, and you're always saying, well, I don't have enough money to actually feel good, or I don't, if I had more money, Money, I'd feel better or if I had this then I would I would do better then you're using money as your God to determine what you can do and what you can do but in fact that's one of the things that as a as a uh, spiritual teacher and a mentor and a counselor a practitioner when people would uh, come to me with say a money problem uh, it, it ends very quickly because you have to look at what are you going to do with the money? What is it that you want? There's moneyed worlds and non-moneyed worlds, okay? And so a money world is where we're, we're getting things, uh, food and everything, when we give the proper coins and paper or however we're going to... Let's take it and let's expand the word money and, and let's let it 
Think about it as a trading resource of some kind. So then you move beyond money. So because, and I would tell people, well, what do you want the money for? So some people, well, I want the money to feel good. Well, why don't you just feel good? Oh, I could just, well, why not? Oh, well, because the other concepts. Well, I was taught this about money. You have to work really hard and you have to really struggle and you have to save every penny and you can't share it with anybody because that's all you've got. Or if you got it, you got to give it away before because it's evil and it's this. You got to spend it really fast. And, and then you take a look at what, what, what you're doing with it. And, and when we actually want to own our powers and own our abilities, we want to become more deliberate in, in what we do. So you want to look at what are, and take, get some, you know, notebook paper or something, a little notebook, start writing down what are all these limitations, these thoughts that you believe are real and true, and this is the way it really is. And when you start dissecting these, you can see their narratives, their stories, there's something somebody told you, this is what you learned in school, this is what you learned in Bible class, this is what you learned here and there. And you have to be able to ferret out which is true and which is false, which is a limitation. And um, you always, so how we, we would just say set ourselves free and remove those limitations is you have to notice what is limiting you. What are you using to hold yourself back? What are you saying is in the way of you being happy or in the way of you being healthy or in the way of you living the lifestyle that, that you really need and what you really want. And so what happens is we, we allow then the, the creation out here to then weigh on us, to determine us what's possible or what other people told you or what they've taught you. And uh, one of my students, we were, we were talking um, about, uh, she was training to um, be um, uh, an artist, a uh, an artist therapy, a therapy artist. So that would help people through art to really come to who they are and realize who they are. And so when she was in a class, the teacher was telling all the students, there's no jobs out there for artists. You, you know, you you know, there aren't any jobs. There aren't any jobs. And she was saying, and it's hard out there. You're, how are you going to find a job? It's, go it's going to be bad out there. I say, this is what happens. Someone tells you something. It's a Hegelian, whatever they call it, he Hegelian, or I don't say it right, but it says there's a problem, and then there is a a, a solution, and there is a, a so say that the problem is is that you don't have en enough money, and oh, no, let me t tell you something that uh, uh, you say you don't have you don't have enough money, and then uh, the solution then is. Maybe that you have to get a bigger job or you have to, you know, work in an assembly line or you have to do something that or you have to go out and you have to kill people because you've got that's your job or you have to go slaughter animals because it's your job. And if you didn't have it, you're not going to survive. You know, all of this stuff, limitation, limitation, limitation is is and it's all concepts and narratives in that sense to keep you focused on lack and fear and self-doubt. So you'll take whatever comes along and you'll do whatever you're told and whatever is being broadcast out there by these other human cell towers, antennas, and through media and all of this, it telling you what's possible and what's not possible when all is possible for you on one way or another. You see, the word freedom also implies suffering. Because you can suffer for as long as you want. If that's what you want to do and they have to look at what are you getting out of it, you don't need to do it, you see. And then so you take a look at what are those beliefs in the families? What were those beliefs in the communities you believe in? What are the beliefs they've got in the office that they don't want to have anybody doing better than anybody else? And then they're gossiping and they put down some. It's all of this pettiness, this mundane, stupid pettiness that humans have become so degraded. They have so degraded themselves to they just do poop talk and things like this toilet talk and they 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 they, they don't even they don't even know how to feed themselves most people out there they don't even know who they are or what the the real objective and the real goal of the whole thing is which is to recover yourself and and you do that now all things are possible to you and that's then the first key is to take a look at what you've written down in your journal of all the different 
um, thoughts and concepts and narratives and who are you listening to? And what are they telling you? Don't listen to that. Turn it off if you don't want it and you don't like it. But take a look at it. it, it is it empowering to you and to everybody else? The absolute truth is good for everyone, including animals. And people say, well, no, it's my opinion and your opinion. And, you know, opinions are boring. That would be like talk radio where everybody's just opinions, opinions, and I think and you think. Where'd they get this? It's coming from what they've been taught to be taught, to be tense, to be stressed, to be distressed, to be in fear, to, to, to hate, to, to we'll, we'll kill them and we'll destroy them and we'll, we'll take over this and that and we'll, you know, and like, just look, is this the world you want to live in? Is this the kind of place that nurtures you? So how do you take your power back? That's the key. And, and you take your power back when you have knowledge of the psychology, of real spiritual psychology, and how this all operates, and, and knowledge of who you really are. And, and in doing that, then you can, when you observe these limitations, know that they're, they're just a thought. It's just a thought. It's a concept. It's a story. It's sounds. It's letters on a piece of paper that all have a number of value and then that matriculates into geometric shapes and figures and patterns and we think that's who we are. As a divine being, we don't have patterns. We don't need to follow patterns and habits. You can change in a moment. You can stop doing something now and say, well, you know, I wash my hair. I can't do anything with it. Well, you'll find a way to do something with it. You know, we're always, we're looking at an excuse. We're saying what the family said. We're saying what the, the, the narrative is on the media. We're going along with this. And I don't like you because you're not like this and that. No, I'm a free speecher. Everybody, I'm, hey, hey, I'm for good for all. And you know, good for all really, really is there. But you have to do it one person at a time right now. So when you take your power back, you just take a look at what you've been given your power to, what you've been getting out of it. Do you want to keep doing that? And right now, today is the first day of the rest of your entire existence. And you can start fresh in every moment. And then you take a look at when you start dropping these concepts and these narratives and stop allowing someone else to control your life and your destiny and what you're manifesting and who and what is around you and how everything is happening and you center yourself here, take your shoes off, get your feet on the ground, start to feel the breath in your lungs, in your nostrils, Notice and feel the heat of the sun on your body. Here I am in nature, sitting quietly and listen, you see. And as we do that, then instead of being in the mind, run with programs constantly, you're centered. And wherever you go, you're on the job, you're driving the car, you're in relationship, you're uh, offering your gifts, you're giving your talk. You're doing what you do, but you're right here. And you're fully entrenched in who you are. All things are possible to you now and eternally. Own it. <laughs>